Okay, on the GUA furnace, uh, inducer runs all the time. Sounds like that all the time, but nothing happens. There's no blinking light in the coat on the uh, ignition control. It just doesn't do anything. Let's see if we can figure out where this is at. Okay, now we should have power here. I have placed my leads across TH to TR. Look over on the right, you can kind of see my probes there. Uh, but there's nothing there, so I can't expect anything to happen. Now, there are, what, three things in the way here. One is a centrifugal switch on the blower. Up above, there's a pressure switch. And there is the uh, limit switch here. Let's see if we can figure out which one of these is open. Okay, here I've got the probes mounted on the between TH and TR on the control. They're right in there. And I'm going to start this up. Okay. Okay, I went to where there's power and then the power went away. Okay, that's pretty much a dead giveaway that you've got a pressure switch problem. Now let's take a look at that pressure switch. Okay, now that pressure switch is, uh, is going to be normally closed and it opens if there's a defect in draft or combustion air. Now they're not the greatest little system here. I'm not real thrilled with this system, but most of the time does work. So, uh, in order to make sure of that, a couple of ways I can do it. One, uh, I think I'll demonstrate here, is we'll do it with ohms. Now, notice I've isolated this thing. I've taken both wires off. I put my probes on there. Switch to ohms. I'm showing OL so there is no continuity through it. So my problem is the pressure switch. Now, I can do this with any of the other parts on this thing. I can either isolate or I can use the voltmeter. Anywhere I can actually put a voltmeter on there, I can go ahead and put the voltmeter on. I mean, it's a little hard to do with the pressure switch because you can't get the, the probes in there. But uh, if you read voltage across any switch, that means the switch is open. In this case, it was just a pressure switch problem. Uh, it doesn't mean the pressure switch is bad. It may very well mean you got a block vent or a block combustion air. But if there's no power to the ignition control, then the next thing is you've got to start looking at the uh, uh, switches in series with it. Once that inducer comes on, or in this case four strap blower, once that four strap blower comes on, you know, it's on, it's ready to go, there's power uh, to start it, and then it could be the centrifugal switch inside the uh, combustion blower, that's right there. Or it could be the pressure switch, and it could be that limit switch is kicked off there. Okay, so that's for the uh, troubleshoot of uh, no power to the control, but the combustion fan blower comes off. And that's the ignition control troubleshoot on a GUA.